If you've recently gotten this message while trying to search for something on Google, um, it says right here about this page, our systems have detected unusual traffic from your computer network. Um, and they're going to ask you here to type in these letters in the box. And, of course, it will be unique to whatever uh, message that you have. What that is, is it's trying to confirm that you are a human and you're not a robot. Um, don't feel alarmed like, oh, no, what did I do? What did I go to? Um, that they're asking me who I am to verify that this is my IP address and whatever. First of all, they know who you are anyway. If you're online, they know who you are. So don't feel like that you're admitting to anything or like you're signing a contract by going ahead and typing in those letters and hit submit. Um, if you just want it to go away, you could temporarily just go to another browser for the time being. So if you got this on Firefox or Google Chrome, go ahead and do your searches on another browser. You know, For example, if you're on Google Chrome, go ahead and go to Firefox or Explore and search temporarily. And usually the error will just go away within 30 minutes. You just go back on there and you'll notice that you can get on again. If it persists, there's usually something on your browser or with your computer that's communicating to Google that you are trying to do, you're, you're basically submitting a lot of searches um, that's not you, that it could be a robot. It's like automated requests from Google search. And a lot of marketing companies have that kind of technology where they are using it for a business purpose. Um, if you feel like that you have maybe accidentally downloaded a mal malware, this right here shows you an example of um, sites that you can, or programs rather, that you can delete or that you can just uninstall. But if you feel like that you have, first, you know, you can run your, anti your antivirus, whether that be Norton or um, AVG or Avast, whatever antivirus you got, go ahead and run it, do a, a full system uh, run. You can also go ahead and do a system restore. This basically goes to a point on your computer where you're backing up and to where your computer was, say, a week ago. And a system restore will get rid of any Trojan horse or any malware that was temporarily installed. Um, for whatever reason, if you're having more problems with your computer and you can't even do a system restore, and by the way, to do a system restore, you just go um, to the search menu on the bottom left, go to, you know, to the start menu, rather, and then go to search, and then type in system restore, and that'll show you how to, to do that, and it'll basically walk you through to backing it up or going back to a day, say a week ago or a month ago, before you got the malware. Um, for what for whatever reason, if you can't even do that, you, you might have a Trojan horse. Um, and if that's the case, then you'll need to shut down your computer and do a system restore in safe mode. Um, and you can get that, just Google that. Um, you know, you might use your cell phone or someone else's computer to do that, um, to do a system restore in safe mode. And this shows you what it looks like. For future references, I'd recommend uh, downloading a free app called Privacy Badger. Um, the good thing about Privacy Badger is that it will block a lot of communication from online to you, you know, spying on what you're searching. And the reason that there's all this information on websites to do that is they're trying to they're trying to get a, an idea of what you like as far as what they can market to you. You know, if you're someone that likes makeup, you know, they're they're fishing for that information to see, hey, does this person um, what can we sell them? So they'll, you know, they do a basically a database of what you like. <coughs> Privacy Badger blocks that, and I recommend Privacy Badger any, to anybody. Um, but again, don't be alarmed by this message. It's 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 from Google, and um, it's something that um, that they use. All right. Thank you for watching.